Hey everyone, this is Eva here on your channel, Eva's Simple Creation. And today is the weekend. Of course, we have to learn something new and to improve our culinary experience. Guys, as you all know, lately I've been liking or baking some Filipino goods, breads. And to tell you honestly, I don't really bake. And I have to learn how to bake for a birth for, for a very first time. And I did have some success on making pandesal. But of course, as you all know, I don't like kneading. And it's not really my cup of tea. So my husband helping me from time to time. But most of the time, he is busy uh, doing something. So I have to help myself. And I have to think something about about that issue. So what I did is I gift myself a stand-up mixer. So this is just the kitchen grade stand-up mixer for the beginner baker like me. Guys, I'm too excited to use this for a very per for a very, very first time. But I'm missing some ingredients. So I'm needing cream cheese. I don't have any yeast. I don't have any bread flour. So I'll probably have to run uh, to the store and get something. Oh, and I don't have any confectionery sugar. So it requires confectionery sugar. All right, guys, I will be off to the store and I will, uh, I will let you know when I am ready to bake. I'm back from the store and I am ready to mix all the ingredients for the dough. So just like I said, we will uh, be making or baking ensaymada for today, right? So the ingredients is, I already put about five and a half cup of flour and then we'll put the one cup of water, okay? And then we will have to put half a cup of sugar. Yes, just half a cup. We don't have to put a lot of sugar because we will be putting an icing, buttercream icing on top of the, uh, the bread. And then we will put about one fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay, one fourth teaspoon of salt. And then let us uh, stir it for a little, little bit before we knead this. Okay, make sure that the, the head or the stand-up mixer is unhooked, okay? Just for safety. And then we will put about two whole eggs. So, we put the two whole eggs in the mix. Okay, two whole eggs of egg. All right, so let me just go. Uh, wipe that there. Okay, so after that, we put the two whole egg. The secret of this fluffiness of the this recipe is we're putting uh, six pieces of egg yolk so aside of putting the two whole egg we are putting also six egg yolk to the mix okay all right and then we will have to put uh, half a cup of softened butter i'll be using a unsalted butter unsalted sweetened butter and then we will have to put one tablespoon of yeast so this method is so called um, a one drop method because everything will be uh, pour at once okay so this is about two tablespoon of yeast we will be using instant dry yeast okay all right, I think we already have the cup of water, flour, five and a half cup of flour. 
a 1 half cup of sugar, 1 4 tablespoon of salt, 2 whole eggs, 6 pieces of egg yolk, half a cup of softened butter, and then 1 tablespoon of yeast. And then we have to mix all this all together before um, using the dough, the mixer for kneading. So, I just wanted to incorporate everything. Alright. Remove all, scrape all the remnants to your uh, scraper, right from your scraper. Alright guys, so I have a brand new stand-up mixer. So this is my very first time using this. And I never used this once in my life because I don't really bake. Since I'm into baking currently, so we will have to uh, use... Um, use this stand-up mixer for a very first time okay and then make sure that the everything is and then we have to plug in this mixer okay and then according to here the kneading is number three so let me see number three okay number three all right guys we will be back as soon as we're done we have when i come back i will you i will make the buttercream okay we are done kneading the dough so we will have to let it rise for about an hour or two until our dough double the size okay and for the meantime so we will have to cover it with cloth and let it rise for two hours and for the meantime we will making our buttercream um, icing okay so the ingredients is one cup of butter room temperature okay so we will have to put the one cup of water so one cup of butter I'm sorry not water so one stick is equivalent to um let me see it says eight one fourth a pound this is what about half a cup okay one stick is equivalent to half a cup so we will put in the softened um butter stick to our um bowl okay so let me see where is my kitchen knife down here so we'll have to uh Put it there this will be really a uh, creamy uh, icing okay then we already put the half a cup of butter and this is the other half so equals two cup of water okay okay so we have one cup of butter then after that we have to put about one fourth uh one fourth cup of cream cheese or about two ounces of just standard cream cheese this is the variety of uh, the icing so about one fourth cup okay and then we'll have to put about one fourth cup of powdered sugar okay and then we will have to we will have to stir it or fold it together by using our um standard standard mixer okay so it will be number two all right okay all right when we come back uh the dough will probably about double the size and we are gonna start baking or assembling the ensaimada
Okay, so this is for the buttercream icing. Okay, all right. The back. All right, the dough already rise, double the size. So we'll have to now weigh individual dough for the enzymatic bread, okay? So we have to weigh it about 50 grams each, each bread, okay? All right, 50 grams will be okay, I guess. All right, so we will have to weigh individual to 50 grams, then have to put it into bowl like this. So let me show you on how to uh, mold it into bowl. So just do it like that on your counter table, right? Or like that, depend what is comfortable for you. And then we will put this in the molded tray for bread or for muff or muffin tray so we'll just have to put it like that and then press it let me go back in here so so we will have to put it in there and then press it all right all right we'll, sh we'll repeat again so we'll have to put it into a bowl and then afterwards, put it in the muffin tray or muffin mold and press it gently. All right, repeat it again. Put it into mold, into a ball, just like that. And press it gently. in the muffin tray or muffin mold just like that guys and then we will have to wait for another 15 to 30 minutes until it rises a bit and then we will have to bake it for about 15 to um 15 to 20 minutes until the bread is ready then we will have to put the the icing and the grated cheese on top all right, I'll be back. The bread for ensaimada is done. This will be a mini ensaimada. So while it's hot, a little bit, not too hot, but it's like um, medium hot. So we can put the cream cheese or the cream cheese icing. So, we will have to put the icing on top, something like that, okay? And we have to spread it and put like a, an ample amount of um, icing on top. Okay, so after you put the icing, then you sprinkled it with shredded cheese. Okay, I already opened the pack of cheese. I bought uh, pre-made, only pre-made um cheese what i mean pre-made is it's already uh, it's already finely grated so for me to save time i just bought a pre-made um grated cheese you can grate yourself if you would like if you prefer that but um i want to do it like quick because there's a lot of process for this enzymata to be honest i start probably i start like around maybe three o'clock and 
it so happened that it takes time to rise the volume of the bread because our home is air conditioned and even even if i turn off the ac or the air condition it's still uh, about 75 degree so i added more time to let the bread you know double the size so my advice to you when you make this one for uh for yourself for your family uh make sure that it's warm inside your house because the tendency of um raising the size of the the dough is it needed warm temperature it's probably ab about 75 and above 75 degree fahrenheit fahrenheit or above maybe 80 degree fahrenheit so maybe next time i will uh put this the dough outside maybe in a garage where it's warmer than the inside but guys it takes it takes time but i learned my lesson so all right so okay let me just show you and then i will finish it later so this is it guys so you have to put the the icing or the cream cheese um icing and then we will have to put the grated cheese i'm using the mexican style cream cheese now we'll just have to sprinkle it with the grated cheese okay just like that a good amount of cheese just like that right, guys so this is it this is a mini ensaymada this is my first time uh baking the ensaymada i never baked ensaymada in my life but since i'm encouraged i encourage myself i challenge myself to learn how to bake so i bake this ensaymada so a while ago i already uh assemble the first batch of the dough so this is my mini ensaymada mm, really guys it's fluffy because i put egg yolk six uh, pieces of egg yolk plus two large eggs guys smells good the house it smells good it smells like bake shop and look at this and say my guys loving i'm loving the result guys for a very first time i learned my lesson on making the dough so the temperature is very critical in making dough and in baking so if you wanted to create your own ensaymada guys consider consider that temperature inside your house okay thank you so much for watching the this vlog this is eva again here in your channel eva's simple creation and if you like this video please click and subscribe below this is eva again here in your channel bye for now and see you in the next vlog